Missouri Highway Patrol lied and covered up for years. Missouri Highway Patrolman Henry Folsom shot Jeffrey Winehouse while under the influence of Prozac. Where's the ADL? Jeffrey's Jewish. I have been targeted for my speech as well. By Ozark County, Missouri government, and lying Jews at the ADL. Missouri Battle Flag. Call to action. Missourians please demand accountability of Missouri government. If government can get away with these type of actions they'll do it to any of us. The case of Jeffrey Winehouse highlights a troubling trend within our Missouri government, a systemic failure to hold individuals accountable for their actions. As former Attorney General Josh Hawley, along with Eric Schmidt, pursued political agendas that prioritize the state over its constituents, an innocent man sits behind bars, victim to a cover-up that threatens the very essence of justice. It is imperative that we recognize the facts surrounding this case. Missouri State Highway Patrolman Henry Folsom tragically shot Jeffrey Winehouse while undergoing psychotropic treatment. Instead of transparent acknowledgement of this incident, officials have chosen to protect their own, adhering to a, back the blue, mentality that falters when it impacts our citizens. Currently, the case is before the Missouri Supreme Court. Access detailed information about on Missouri Case Net, Missouri Supreme Court case link in the description. Moreover, if Andrew Bailey is selected the new Attorney General, we must question how he will ensure justice for the people of Missouri. It is critical for the Attorney General and our political leaders to shine a light on injustices like Jeffrey's case, rather than obscuring exculpatory evidence to secure convictions. Not all law enforcement officers are heroes, mistakes made by individuals in positions of authority have severe consequences. Henry Folsom is married to La Clede County Prosecutor Amy Folsom, who has faced allegations of misconduct herself. Additionally, Scott Murdens, a highway patrolman present during the shooting, misrepresented the events that occurred. The FBI also witnessed the shooting and these discrepancies, taking no action. This troubling narrative suggests that Jeffrey was targeted for his outspoken views. We must question how the system can function when those responsible for justice fail in their duties. Eric Schmidt famously stated he works for the state, not the people of Missouri, but we believe that the people must come first. The cover-up surrounding Jeffrey Winehouse's shooting has been perpetuated by Attorney General Josh Hawley, with the complicity of former Governors Eric Greitens and Mike Parson. This is the very reason I ran for Missouri U.S. Senate in 2022, contended for the 4th Congressional District of Missouri, and most recently, sought the position of Missouri Governor. My commitment to justice and accountability drives my advocacy for citizens who have been wronged by the system. It is vital that we do not blindly support law enforcement at the expense of justice. For more insights into this case, visit the U.S. Observer. Links below. Now is the time for action. We urge citizens to demand accountability and transparency from their representatives. Jeffrey Winehouse deserves justice, and it is our responsibility to ensure his voice is heard.